Okay, so here we have a baby southern alligator lizard. It's really hard to tell because, you know, when I first flipped it, it just looked like a huge slender salamander. You can barely tell because there's no coloration on this guy. And you could barely tell by that. It's only after like maybe a couple of seconds I was able to see that, oh, this is way too big for a slender and that is not the head of a slender end, you know. But yeah, uh, very cool. Let's put this little guy back under his log. So this is a Jerusalem cricket and uh, they're non-venomous but they do have really big pinchers that will bite and I never got bitten by it but some people did and they said it hurts. So anyways, this is a Syrian tree frog. Now this one's a female, and the way that you can tell the difference between a female and male is that the females have a white chin, and it's kind of hard to see in this video, but in, um, in the next video, in this video, you can see that it has a white chin. And the males have a way darker chin, and I'll show a video of that right here. Here's the male, it has a way darker chin, and it has slightly bit looser skin on its chin just because it needs to call. Now, for comparison, here is the female. They are also slightly bigger than the males. Okay, so here we have a Syrian tree frog. Look at that. It's a male, and we're going to put it back uh, with the female. So, let's put this guy back. Here they go. The male. Oh, there's the male. Um, there's the male. And the female, I have no idea where it went. Oh, the female is right behind it. See? Okay, here is a sharp-tailed snake, a very common backyard snake that you might find in your backyard here in the Bay Area. And they also have a sharp tail because of their name. It's actually quite sharp. There's another species called the forest sharp-tailed snake, which is a little bit more duller in coloration and found in the forest, whereas this has a more red coloration. And you won't really find them here in like in the grass. You'll find them under boards and logs. So yeah, a very cool species of snake. Okay, so these are California new eggs, and they are have they have white larvae, as you can see, and they're in small clumps that will be stuck to either like branches, trees, and this difference this is like different from frog eggs because they're in more bigger clumps and they have black larvae. So this is the California new, and the place that we found this, like we went two times, we went back in December and then in end of spring, and during um, December. It was full, the streams were full, but then in spring it had like a lot of the water just evaporated. So I'm no, I don't even know, but if we go again in like summer, I don't even think there'll be water there. So we probably need to go and check how they like how they um, will survive. Okay, guys, so look at this. This is a Syrian tree frog um, froglet. So it just recently turned into a frog. Um, it's really small, really jumpy. I just put it in this little um, container and I'll put it back into the creek. There's another one that we caught. This one is a light one and then the dark one is right uh, somewhere here. Where did it go? I think it's there. You can see if it's moving. Okay, so here's the other Syrian tree frog froglet, and it's really jumpy, so I might jump any second. Oh, and it did, and it's jumping. I don't know where it is. Uh, okay, there it is. There it is. Oh, wait. Uh, it's keep on jumping. So I forgot to mention that you don't really want to touch these just because they're really small and their skin is very sensitive. 
And for all amphibians, whenever you're holding them, you want to make sure that you have no chemicals on your hands, like um, sunscreen, um, bug spray, lotion, uh, what else? I think, yeah, anything like that, just because their skin, again, is very sensitive. Now, this would be an ideal place to find a froglet, just because it has lots of algae, there's not much moving water, and lots of um, plants. So if you want to find any like tadpoles, froglets, streams like this would be ideal. Okay, here we have a um a little frog. I think this is a yellow foothill frog. Uh, yeah, it's definitely not an American bullfrog. So it was just li down in this little creek down here, nearby a parking lot. And hopefully we can find some more animals in this little creek. So far we found a really cool frog.